countries around the world are working to reopen, especially those that rely on tourism. Uh, much of Europe remains on lockdown with borders closed and travel restricted. But as Gwen Bombardner reports, cities are in a race to try to save summer vacations. Tourist hotspots turned into ghost towns as countries went into lockdown. But now, with restrictions lifting, European capitals are working to salvage the tourism season. First time uh, the Acropolis reopened, uh, we say, OK, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ancient Greece showcased some modern additions with signs promoting social distancing. Landmarks reopened to the public today, but limited the number of visitors. Churches in Italy are also reopening, including St. Peter's Basilica. Worshippers wore masks and had their temperatures checked at the door. Last year, neighboring France saw 90 million foreign tourists. Now its borders are shut down, along with entrances to the Louvre and Eiffel Tower. The French government has pledged a $19 billion bailout to its struggling tourism sector and is encouraging residents to plan staycations in the coming months. In the UK, royal landmarks remain closed, but Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle are offering virtual tours until they can safely reopen. For many countries, travel bans will remain in place until June. At that time, some governments will allow travel between other European nations in time for summer vacations. Gwen Baumgartner, CBS News, London. In many European countries, tourism accounts for 13 to 20 percent of their GDP.